Hi, today I'm going to be testing out the best art hacks from my subscribers. In my last couple of art hack videos, I specifically asked you guys to leave me your best life-changing art hack. And I was expecting maybe at the most 20, 30, 40, 50 people to write an art hack comment. But no, you guys came through and left thousands of different art hacks in the comment section. And of course I read through them all. And today out of all the comments that I read, I am going to be sharing the best of the best with you guys. So let's get this party started. All right, so for this very first art hack, this one is so smart. I showed everybody on TikTok, y'all went crazy for it. The hack is, is that anytime you're dealing with any kind of chalk pastels or charcoal, you know that they can get so dirty so quickly. And that's really annoying because if you wanna get a red color and it's full of a blue color, when you go to use it, you're gonna get the blue all over the place where the red is supposed to be. And it is just so frustrating. So the solution to that is that you're gonna get some cornmeal. You're gonna put a little bit in a bag. It doesn't have to be a lot, just a little bit. You're gonna put the dirty chalk in the bag. You're gonna shake it violently. And when it comes out, it is gonna be perfectly clean and ready to use. And the best part is, is that the commenter mentioned that their little Ziploc cornmeal bag, they've had it for years, alluding to the fact that you can use the bag hundreds of times before you need to switch it out. For this first hack, I knew we had to start off with a bang because that is absolutely genius. For this next art hack, this is the art hack that when I read this, I had mentioned earlier that I had to like literally put down my phone, take a second and breathe in because it is such a good idea. It makes me mad that I didn't think of this first. So the hack is, is that anytime you're working with markers in a sketchbook that's not designed for markers, you know that it's so frustrating because if you use a lot of markers, it'll bleed right through the pages. So the solution to that is that you can get clear acrylic gesso. And depending on how you like your texture, you can put that acrylic gesso either on the top of the page or behind the page. And when it's done drying, it basically acts like a protective barrier protecting the next pages and your ink will no longer seep through the next page. Whoever came up with that hack, you deserve the Nobel Peace Prize, okay? Love that hack, such a good idea. For this next art hack, this is not an art hack at all. <laughs> So the problem is whenever I'm painting, sometimes I'll be so concentrated on my artwork that I'll accidentally get my paint water with my regular water confused and I'll drink the paint water. And apparently that happens to a lot of artists out there. So here's the solution. I invented this vibrant, bright, in your face, dirty paint water mug. That way, whenever I'm painting, I'll see the giant neon sign saying not to drink out of this. I personally created and designed this myself. It comes in two colors, green and yellow. The design is on both sides. And and it's dishwasher and microwave safe. Even if you're not an artist and you just wanna drink out of a dirty paint water mug, ironically, I think that'd be funny too. Or if you know an artist, I think it would make a great gift. If you're interested, I will put the link to it in the description box down below. You can find it on my website, shopraydizzle.com. I am so proud of how this cup came out. Hopefully this cup will help us not drink our paint water anymore. This next art hack did not come from just one person. In fact, it came from multiple people telling me about this hack. If you are struggling to clean the paint off your brushes, whether that be from oil paints or acrylic paints, what you can use is Murphy's All Soap. And to be honest with you, I've never heard of this product before. I don't personally have wood floors, but I bought some at Walmart. It was less than $4 a bottle. I added about a teaspoon to a cup and I just diluted that with a little bit of water. And within seconds, that mixture cleaned off all the dried, crushed up acrylic paint. It's almost like the acrylic unstuck from the individual brush hairs. And the reason that's such a game changer is because normally with acetone and alcohol, it dissolves the actual acrylic off the brush itself and that can damage the bristles. It can mess with the actual glue that attaches the handle, but that doesn't happen with the Murphy's All Soap. It made the acrylic paint just slide right off. So at this point, I have done tons of videos on how to clean your brushes and by far, Murphy's Old Soap is the best of the best. And by the way, the link to every single product that I'm mentioning in this video, the Amazon links to them will be in the description. <laughs> they will, the, why can I not say that? The Amazon links to the products will be in the description box down below. Okay, 
Okay, for this next art hack, this one is so smart because not only is it an art hack, but it's also a way to upcycle and reuse something. I'm sure that everybody watching this has experienced whenever you get a pencil or a colored pencil and you used it so much that the length is almost like a little tiny nub. And that little nub is really hard to use because it like stabs into your hand. They're hard to get a lot of control when you're using the paper because they're just so small and lightweight. So one of the solutions to that is whenever you go to a restaurant and you get served a plastic straw, save it. You're gonna get that straw, cut it in half, and fit it over your colored pencil. And it's basically one of the cheapest and easiest ways to lengthen your pencil and just make it a lot easier to use while upcycling an item. For this next art hack, this is another one that I put on TikTok, which by the way, if you haven't followed my TikTok, what are you doing? But as I was saying, for this hack, instead of just filling a cup with water and trying to clean your paintbrushes that way, what you can do is get a sponge. Cut the sponge to fit your little container, whatever container you want, and the sponge basically turns it into a DIY brush cleaner. And obviously, because it's a sponge, you can clean it, you can dry it, you can reuse it, and all those little bits of sponge that are left over, they are perfect for activating your water layer. It's so simple, it's so easy, and it's just so efficient. Ooh, okay. So for this next art hack, I thought this was so smart and I've never seen anybody ever do this one before. Usually whenever people are painting, they like to use either masking tape or painter's tape and they work fine. They do exactly what they're designed to do, protect the paint against the canvas. But one of the problems is that painter's tape and masking tape, they're porous and take that much longer to dry. So what this person likes to do is that they like to use electrical tape. And the reason that they like to use electrical tape is because it's non-porous. You can just wipe off any extra dripping paint so it doesn't make a mess everywhere. Such a smart idea that I personally would have never thought of in a million years. This next one, I'm gonna tweak it a little bit just to improve it just that much more. So whenever you're transferring an image onto a new piece of paper, it can be very difficult to keep the two papers perfectly aligned the entire time. One wrong move with your hand, it'll mess up the whole entire image and then you have to start the whole thing all over again and it's so frustrating and you're wasting good paper and just all around it's such a mess. Well, here's the solution to that. The original commenter said that you can use bobby pins to attach the two pages together, but I'm gonna suggest that you guys use paper clips. You get the paper clips, clip them all on the four corners of the page, and that will perfectly secure the two pages together without damaging it. And of course, they're paper clips, so when you're ready to take them off, they just slide right off. This next art hack has been around for quite a while. This is a popular art hack. I don't think I've ever shown on my channel because I just never got around to it. If you have any kind of colored pencil that's cheap and doesn't have a lot of pigment, maybe it doesn't blend well, you can dip the colored pencil in just a little bit of Vaseline. And basically what the Vaseline does is it breaks down like the outer layer of the colored pencil and it basically makes it work a lot more smoother and buttery and it enhances the pigment. I got this little tiny tube for like $1 at Walmart and this little tube will last you literally years and years and years to do this hack. And another variation of this hack that I've seen that I've tried out personally is if you get your colored pencils and let them soak in water for a little bit, it kind of does the same effect. It gives you a couple of seconds of really pigmented colored pencil. Last time I did one of these videos, I mentioned that makeup brushes are really good when it comes to blending paint. Well, somebody took it even farther and suggested that you try out nail products. And the reason they suggest that is because nail brushes are usually really small, easy to find, and of course they're really cheap. Now, unfortunately, my local Dollar Tree, they were completely out of nail stuff. But if you look online, you can find so many different types of brushes for super cheap. Just because it's meant for nails doesn't mean that you can't use it with regular paint. All right, so for this next art hack, this one is another viral one that has been improved in my opinion, tenfold. So if you use just regular painter's tape, you know that it doesn't always leave perfectly crisp lines. So a while back, the solution was is that you find an identical color to the wall or the canvas or whatever you're painting on, prime the tape with that color and then go over with the new color and bada bing, bada boom, crisp lines. But the problem with that is, is that not everybody, especially if you're painting walls, not everybody has the original color that they started with. So in Instead of using an identical paint color, what you're gonna do is go in with acrylic gesso, let it dry completely clear, and then go over with a new paint. And bada bing, bada boom, perfectly clean, perfectly crisp, and will match literally any color ever. 
And for this very last art hack, this one might seem a little bit silly, but the reason I wanna share this art hack is because I know there's people out there who are watching me who one, might just not have money to be able to afford things at the craft store, or two, they might just be looking for ways to like upcycle things, or maybe they just live in a really small secluded town that hardly has a grocery store, let alone Amazon Prime or a specialty craft store, okay? If you know, you know. This hack says if you don't have a specialty needed eraser, or maybe you just can't find one, can't afford one, whatever, you can get a piece of bread. Mine expired all the way back in November, apparently. <laughs> What you can do is rip off the crust and basically that can turn into a biodegradable makeshift needed eraser. And as you can see, I tried it out and it worked perfect. The bread absorbed the graphite just like a needed eraser. It was so cool. Well, there you guys go. Those were art hacks from you guys. I hope some of these hacks were useful for you guys. If you have any art hacks that you think would help somebody, put it in the description box down below. And with that being said, guys, this is the last video of the year. We're going to close it out good. I hope you guys have an amazing holiday season. Happy drawing, and I will see you guys next year. Bye!